I think you all agree this is an amazing presentation. And uh, actually, when you talk about uh, Bob being a legend, the, and very relevant, I think, for many of you here in this room, is the leadership aspect. Because Germany, in, in the last 20 years or so, um, has become very entrepreneurial. And, you know, the break off of, of the networks into many, uh, I mean, strong competition, smaller agencies and so forth. And uh, I want to touch this aspect. Because with Bob, I think, three, three different people come together. A visionary, it's not easy to have a vision and to be right on, but a visionary. Uh, secondly, uh, um, an, an uh, inventor, I mean, who, who always sees a possibility, especially in a technical area, what you can do with it and how you can push it forward. And then an implementer. And these are three different aspects um, for leadership, very critical. And we have seen how radically he has changed from image making into digital, into internet, into uh, uh, an agency uh, service with all this ecosystem and so on. Tell us uh, what was the most critical part of making this change happen in those basically four companies you've been in, being very successful with these companies and convincing the people to give up and to change and to move on into a more exciting territory? Uh, thank you, Michael. That's a great question. I think the, um, I think something that I learned later when I read the book um, that was written about Steve Jobs is something that I was doing in my own way. Uh, I um, eventually, I, 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 I try to collaborate with um, um, my executive team, and then at some point, I just make a decision. And I think you can't drive change by consensus. You've got to take a hard line approach and just say, right or wrong, this is where we're going, guys. And, and I think that's an important, most important part. Uh, thank you. Um, uh Another aspect I think is fundamental to, to what you produce so far, and that is your closeness to Bauhaus. Yeah. Um, you told me you are into Bauhaus since you're 16. Yeah. The office you work in, RGA, is located in a Gropius-influenced uh, building. Yeah. You yourself have, have built uh, four houses in the, in the northern state uh, of um, uh, New York, uh, the so-called uh, one-story skyscrapers. Mm -hmm. Two were built after Miss Fandero. Two were built uh, um, uh, after uh, Philip Johnson. Mm -hmm. um, actually, he wanted to visit Dessau here. We will do that, have to do that next Very time. Very soon. Yeah. Um, Bauhaus, we all know less is more, but there's also two other aspects, and that is easier handling, mm -hmm. like your full band, if I can mm -hmm. touch it here, <laughs> the one button idea, mm -hmm. yeah, easier handling, and interdisciplinary setup. That means to have a population coming from various areas, and I think that is what what makes your agency great today, to have this interdisciplinary setup that goes into technology and into arts, mm -hmm. and into communication, into ecosystems, into business, and so forth. Can you talk a little bit about it? Well, thank you, Michael. I think um, uh, the Bauhaus also, by the way, was the main influence for Steve Jobs. Um, if you read the Isaacson book and subsequent articles, um, which sort of led to Dieter Rams, another great German designer that came out of a background that was very Bauhausian for Braun, that then 
led Jonathan Ives to create the, uh, the, the Apple ecosystem, all based on design. So I think the theme that I was most interested in that came out of the Bauhaus is the idea of reductionist thinking, which is also true of television, commercial production, and print. Uh, but it was uh, with a group of people so that somebody from uh, the metal shop would figure out how to make a cantilevered uh, system for a chair. Uh, the textile department would figure out how to make a new um, covering out of uh, 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 canvas, and then somebody from the architecture department would add um, all the uh, dependencies to make sure that it would uh, be stable, just like a building. And they started to put together these odd combinations of designers, um, architects, um, people who um, understood the fabric of, uh, of, of something that they'd be creating painting and theater and everything all came together. Um, when I opened up RGA, I also draw from or drew from so many different industries. We had people who were literally experts at optical systems that had joined us. People from the um, massive parallel processing division of Watson Research at IBM, they would join us we'd get somebody who was a, a designer who had come out of a, a company like uh, Charles Eames had that knew how to um, put together motion pictures uh, from a design perspective that were bringing together a lot of different people from different backgrounds. And so it was that we created this, this mishmash of, of talent that I think um, uh, the sum is greater than the individual parts. And the, the idea of it really was driven by my interest also in Buckminster Fuller, because I started to visualize the company as a series of parts to a geodesic dome that when I read that if one part isn't strong enough in the sort of triangular methodology of ge geodesic domes, uh, it falls apart. So you've got to think of it as a whole system, as architecture, and as each part supporting the other parts, so that then it becomes the whole idea back in the day then was um, when you're doing visual effects, was composing images. So it was taking from the orchestration, the notation system of a large orchestra, and if it wasn't all working, if the oboe was out of sync, you'd hear it. And with what we were doing, if one piece of a mat was out of sync, you'd see it. So we considered it composing images or orchestration. And it still continues on that way. I think it's the uh, whole ability to think about integration, collaboration, and orchestration. Actually, you can take all the IONs. Somebody could start. Uh, there is a company with that, I'm sure. But collaboration has it at the end. It's the Latin root for all these things that comes together. So I mean, if, if, if you just get deeper into it, you will actually have your answers for the next nine years. Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, Bob, this is a fascinating start, maybe, of something we could continue at the Berlin School. Yeah. yeah? <laughs> uh, maybe also with Stefan Olander also, yeah. and, and with yeah. maybe somebody who is involved in Apple, because yeah. Apple and RUMS and, and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. Very interesting. Uh, um, in, in the interest of time, uh, I mean, it's, it's so sad. I have, I, uh, I have 48 here on, on my fuel band, uh, and I should be finished at 45. But let me ask you in the room, show me a hand if anybody is here that would love to work with Bob or love to work for Bob. Please show me your hands. <laughs> Bob, <laughs> open your agency in Germany, yeah. and why not in Dessau? Dessau? Because there is some wonderful buildings, and they are in a rotten shape, and they need renovation, oh, and they need idea. your brain. Okay? Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you yeah. very much.